Welcome everybody to the Batu Caves. Bum bum. bum. Biryani. Biryani. I love this gift board. So we got some nasi lemak. Burger sizzling. This place is fancy. Yeah. The Mega Mall? More like the Mega Fancy Mall. Three, two, four. The Batu Cave. That's pretty snazzy looking. This looks pretty epic. This is just right in the city, but right on the outskirts of the city. It was like a 15, 20 minute drive. This is a pretty epic. Hey, you only gotta pay if you got a car? Epic. We might be considered a temple. We need a cover up of some sort. Is it a temple? That guy in front of us has shorts on. Oh. And it's very touristy, it so. Very the Malaysians are like, ah, it's okay. Wow, this is really schnazzer. Very schnazzer. We got a statue over there, a statue right there. That is a really fracking big statue, too. That is a fracking master statue. That is a massive statue, and there's a lot of pigeons on that roof over there. Wow. Oh, wow. This is the spot to be. If you're an animal, come here. Yeah, it's so much food. Baby shark. Oh. What did they do? Let's go hunt. Let's go hunt. Is this aggressive? Are they hunting people today? That's not good. Sharks are scary. <gasps> Is that a baby shark remix? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of steps. Welcome everybody to the Batu Caves. Bum bum, bada bum bum bum. Wow. This is cool. really cool. Like this. <laughs> like the cave is just so sheer and intense. It just yeah. comes out of fracking nowhere. This, this is even like jutting out the that part of the mountain there. Hey, very cool. And then the Hindus are like, hey, let's just build a temple in Why here. Not? It's pretty snazzy area, everyone. Wow, there's a lot of pigeons. No, they don't even. No, look at how fat this one is. You literally could. They do not move. Oh, it's stinky. Look at all the bird poop on the ground. Baby shark. Pigeons. Wowzers. Holy crap, how tall is that fracking thing? It's gotta be at least 10 feet tall. It's at least 10 feet. I would say it's at least six foot three. Yeah, I mean, so that's about my height. It's a little bit taller than me. A little bit, barely, maybe a head. We'll see though, because if I go to the top of the steps, then it might not be taller than yeah, me. Yeah, that's anymore. true. So it might not even be taller than six feet. That's very true. Uh oh, instructions to be followed. Um, don't wear shorts. How does this work? Hey, we good? Okay. All right, you can wear shorts. Can wear shorts. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are really steep. They are. Whoa, look out! You can't even see the top because of how steep. Oh my gosh, so steep and very colorful. Wow, this very epic. The nature. The nature is exquisite. The nature mixed with the culture. Very cool. It's a weird smell. Yeah, well, I don't even know what it is. Me neither. We're finally hiking. Up the colorful stairs. How progressive. Very progressive. I feel like I'm climbing a mountain in Iceland. When you go inside, there's gonna be triple the amount of steps. <laughs> we might need to um, sprint up them then. I think so. <sighs> Yikers. Let's look back. Wow, that's a very incline. We're 
almost did it. <laughs> we used to hike mountains a lot. And we haven't in a while. Too many cities. Too many cities. Too much food. <sighs> All right. Whoa. It's a bit drippy. It's weird looking at the raindrops. They fall so far. Wow. You can't see them in the pro, but that's really interesting. You can really touch them. Yeah, you can. You can watch the raindrops fall from the sky. It's very epic. Oh, what a perfect bats. spot. There's bats. Oh, oh, that's a pigeon. Oh, that's a pigeon. You go in the fracking cave, there's cave pigeons. <laughs> cave pigeons? You know what they call bats? The chicken of the cave. Pigeon. Oh my gosh, that pigeon has been through the ringer. Hey, bucko. That's what cave pigeons look like. <laughs> Black as in the night sky. We got some. Oh, it's really dripping. So many cave pigeons. These pigeons will adapt to living in this cave for generations and generations. And they'll turn into bats. Of oh. Bat pigeon hybrids. Wow. The main or, yeah, main temple right there. Really? And you probably need probably need pants to get into that one. Yeah. Like this, the nice hum of the pigeons. Oh, there's a hole right there. Oh. Can we get inside of it? I think we can climb up to it probably. I would think. We can just scale it. They should have a nice epic uh, rock climbing inside of the cave. Like a Via Ferretta? Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Whoa. The light from above really goes nuts in the GoPro. Because it's dark in here, then this sky is so bright. Wow. Very interesting place. I like how low that fracker is. Oh wow. It's a head bonker. Bonk. Whoa, bonk. What's in this corner? Oh my gosh. Um, why isn't there steps going up this? That seems like a chance to explore. Yeah, <laughs> forest it is up there. Yeah, it goes like straight down the walls too, even. Vegetation. Very epic. Batu Caves. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, that was very cool. And there's no entrance fee or anything? No, it's nice and free. Get a view of it from over here. Well, now we're dock walking down the very treacherous steps. If you slipped, you may roll forever. You would literally roll back to our hotel. Hey, let's do it. Would you roll back into the bed? Yes, you would. Back to sleep instantly because you'd have so much brain damage. Look at him right here. You think I'm like. Just about as tall as that thing, so it's probably not uh -huh. even over six feet tall. No, probably not. It only makes sense logistically that you are the same height as it. Yeah, I think that's how things work. It is. Oh, there's a mountain over there we can climb. I don't know how easy it is to get to uh, the hiking trails around this place. Especially when we uh, don't have a car. It seems like it, they may be on the other side. Yeah. Since yeah. this is all blocked off. So maybe we won't... We'll have a difficult time uh, getting to the hiking trails behind this place. Um, we could have just climbed up into the cave. We could have. There was that corner. Yeah. Could have shimmied up that mother. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Wow. It's like the baby has a tail. Oh. To, to balance on. The baby? Definitely seems like it's getting hotter very quick. It is. I started getting sweaty really quick. <laughs> Like as soon as he walks out of the cave, suddenly he's like, oh, it's hot. 
There's some weird smells here. There is. It's like in the, around this area. That's where we were walking up. Yeah, what is it? It sounds like a mix of like garbage and sewage and then like different types of cooked food. Yeah, like some plants or something. Yeah. Some very weird smells. Oh, there's a big cow right there. Oh. Why isn't a real cow? They could have a real cow. If this was India, it'd be a real cow. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. Just looking in a mirror at itself? It appears so. Wow, how narcissistic. What a narcissistic cow. It's just saying that cows are gods and they should look at themselves because they're so fracking sexy. True. Look at that hump. The baby better have a mirror in his house. The baby. A god. The baby is a god. He may be a young god, but a god nonetheless. And those are the Batu Caves. Ah. The pretty snazzy, pretty epic plot. Obviously, if you're in Kuala, it's worth a visit. It's free. It's very cool. It's just not to, too hard to get out here. Just take a taxi yeah. or the MRT or the uh, rail connects to it if you want to take that as well. Little over three bucks to get a taxi out here, which is we, pretty cheap. If you can afford it, I would recommend the taxi because uh, you save like 30 minutes. Yeah, but uh, don't expect it to be a whole day affair. We were no. in there for about... 20 minutes yeah so we didn't we didn't know what to expect for how long we'd be out here with like hiking and stuff but yeah it's not it's not full day no just a stop so it only takes 20 minutes to get out here from our city center hotel so if you uh taking it out why not the highway system here seems very efficient at least very. on sundays maybe not on mondays all right let's see where we go to next get all this. see you guys wherever we are yeah. something over there like is this thing a botanical garden a hindu botanical garden a mini temple botanical garden oh, oh. There's, a, there's a peacock over there there's a peacock is this a bird park but not the world's largest free flight avi aviary <laughs> <laughs> that also costs uh, 15 dollars or whatever unlike this one which is free <laughs> to get into that area it also costs 15 dollars there's not many people over there no not really i don't know where we're going let's find out an eagle temple and a god and more importantly a monkey look at that fucking monkey he's ready to eat anything that gets given to him we've only seen one monkey oh a monkey i want to feed a monker yeah why should we just give him the gopro see what he can film yeah that'd be sick he runs as long as he brings it back we have to yeah. say okay monkey now make sure you bring it back he'll be like <laughs> then he'd bring it up into the cave and record all these epic that'd areas that'd be sick if he could like scale the mountain get us like a good footage up there he'd bring us to a mon monkey sanctuary he would uh we'd give it to him he'd be like <laughs> he'd whip out a head strap from the back of his oh. I don't know where, put it on and then put the GoPro on it. There's only one place he could whip out a head strap from. His prison wallet. Oh no! He's a bad monkey. He's a bad monkey. Oh, look at this. Oh wow, lots of monks. Oh yeah. Oh, the, that's King Monk right there. He's King Monk? He's so small. They love their banana. Oh, that's so epic. I want to give monkey. <laughs> that looks like a... I want to give monkeys bananas. <laughs> Look at that one. He's eating his banana over there. Hey, bucko. <laughs> oh, he's greedy too. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you? Yo, homie. Hello, sir. How are you? Please take a picture of me pointing at this monkey. Ah! Hello, sir. How are you? Thumbnail pick with monkey? Oh, he got scared. Oh, that's his pole to conquer. He's not letting anybody up that pole. Look at him, he's waiting for the attack. They have a pole hierarchy. 
because that one wants to get to that pole and he's not letting anybody pass there. He has a banana offering though. I mean, oh. Oh, that one's got a coconut. Hello, sir. Oh, you're running. Hello, sir. One of them's just gonna run up and jump on your shoulders. Yeah, literally. Oh, they got a big banana. Well, monkey. Yeah, very epic. You can also see them if you come here. Yeah. Oh, that guy doesn't care anymore. He's just letting them by. Oh. Easy peasy. <laughs> monkey hierarchy has been squished. Wow. We should learn a lot from these monkeys. Do you have a monkey this thing? Will they catch? Monkey, he has food. Oh, he tried to go he for it. He tried a tiny bit. Monkey, I have coconut for you. What the heck is that thing? Coconut? I need a banana. Just give them a banana peel and they grab it and they get angry. Like, what the heck? And they start throwing a fit and just start slashing at us. Yeah. yeah. Well, Batu Caves, I don't know where to go now, really. Oh. Uh, very epic. I love monkeys. I love monkeys. They popped it. Uh, uh, he's dead now. The heck. This is tragic. This is very tragic. I feel like the Batu Caves has been ruined for me now. I'm gonna, uh, let's, everyone boycott Batu Caves because of this. We got growled at Why? by a monkey. <laughs> he was very aggressive. We gave... I gave a, one of the little bananas, one of the monkeys dropped it and I gave it back to him. And then I turned around and there was another one. And then he started going. The frack! He kept opening his mouth and then he, uh, Tyler picked up an apple and was about to like give it to him and then he went. Argh. I should have just kicked the frack right in the head. <laughs> Shut up, just punch him. <laughs> then he would have came back with a vengeance and latched onto my neck. Just start biting over and over and flying. Was, then I'd become monkey boy. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like Beat Saber. It's on the hard plus, expert plus. Uh, this would be an expert plus for me. <laughs> it just instantly ends. True. Uh, no, thanks. that's a hard game. Fun game though. Very fun. Hey, but we can't play it because uh, we couldn't fit our VR headsets in our backpack or our travel bags. And we fit a lot of things in there. We did. We haven't used any of them yet, really. Haven't used the mics. Yeah. We don't really have a studio or anything, so it's hard to use it because we don't have a place to permanently set up mics. Our uh, rented apartment in Maine Hill is a bit small. Yes. Or not small, it's just crammed. We need... We need a third bedroom. Who wants to hook us up? A uh, third bedroom realtor, thank you very much. Yeah, easy. Uh, actually give it to us for free, please. Yes, please. We will advertise it, yeah, but we'll, we'll live there, so <laughs> yeah. it won't matter. Underpass. If you like cool underpasses, this one is very epic. Low. Very low. We're gonna head to the Mega Mall. They have a Mega Mall here? SM Mega Mall Are from the me? Philippines. Gonna do a fast food haul, all the different fast food places. So that's gonna be pretty epic. We gotta get a grab first. Grabs seem to be uh, pretty cheap here. Yeah, that, it, for a 20 minute ride, $3 or whatever, $2 or something. Maybe the bad. taxis are like in Manila where they're actually cheaper. They could be, it could be. I don't know if I trust those frackers. That but, sit outside of the tourist places and like yeah. taxi, taxi. Overall, I wonder. Let us know if, uh, like, if you were to just pick up a taxi like down there, if it would be cheaper than a grab. I don't know. This place is fancy. Yeah. The mega mall. More like the mega fancy mall. More like the mega luxury mall. Oh, they have a Cartier, a Boss. Oh, it's very empty. Maybe people here are more like, hey, this stuff isn't worth the money. Correct. Is this like Dubai Mall where there's like a fancy entrance? Hopefully it is. Uh, if it's just luxury stuff, I don't know if we're gonna find the fast food stuff we're looking for. They have a luxury McDonald's oh, here. Oh really? Like they have rich people Starbucks apparently is a thing. And uh, whoa, look at how fancy this one is. Whoa. What the heck? It doesn't look like it gets any non-fancier. 
They just have this epic thing right here. Um, where's where's the food court? It will be it will be called the the food court brought to you by Gucci. <laughs> Whoa, fancy food court. Gucci. What a stupid store. Hey, we're YouTubers now. Why don't we have oh, Gucci? Yeah. Um, Nike and Under Armour. That's basically oh. Gucci. There might be another area over there too. There's a Starbucks. Do they have maps in Kuala Malls? There's an A&W right there. Oh, that's a good stuff. Let's go! Burger King? Okay, epic A&W, epic Burger King. Oh yeah, I'm on the right side. Epic Road. Epic Fountain. So much epicness here. That's epic epicness. Mozzarella Coney Dog. Oh, those mozzarella Coney Dogs are probably pretty good. They look popping. Well, this is the fast food hall. Time to start off the fast food hall. A and W style. All right, the first step to the fast food Malaysian fast food hall is A and W, which I had a root beer float yesterday at, and I had something very unique that's only available at the Express A and W locations in Malaysia. So it's double Malaysian exclusive. That's so exclusive. You're gonna be surprised. It's ice cream on a hot dog bun. That looks so weird. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh, I guess I will be getting that today. A&W is very interesting. I have not seen it in any other country. Uh, I've seen it in Canada and the US. Yeah. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wow, that it's really chocolatey. It's quite the, the beast right here. The ice cream is really icy. Really? You got more ice than cream? Yeah. Wait. You gotta be able to dip the bun in here, dude. Okay, here we go. Can go. With chocolate and ice cream and bun. Chocolate, ice cream, and bun? That's correct. Like, I taste the bun at first, like the first bite, you get some bun. Then it instantly goes away, and then it's just ice cream and chocolate. Does it change the texture then? Just yeah, it changes the texture a bit. It's a little more squishy. So, I mean, it's not revolutionary. But it's not bad. I'm disappointed. I expected hot dog, chocolate, and bun to be revolutionary. Who is this? Is this a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? And if so, is this a sandwich? Or even if a hot dog isn't a sandwich, is this a sandwich? I would say a hot dog is a sandwich. I don't know if this would be. I mean, there's ice cream sandwiches. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's a sandwich. I agree. Thank you very much. And this might have also been an express exclusive. Oh, oh it's really hot. Wow. Ooh. Very cheesy. Oh my god. A mozzarella Coney dog straight from Coney Island. Hey, I'm from Coney Island. Oh my god. Wow, there's a big hair at the bottom. There is indeed. Oh, it's soggy. It's the bun. No. No. Oh my gosh. Is it Coney or mozzarella? I honestly, the first flavor I got was some sort of like Indian spices. Really? Uh, like beef or whatever has some of those spices on it. And then it's very cheesy and then very hot doggy after. <laughs> That's really good though. It, it mixes all together very well. Unfortunately, like a, it's very messy. <laughs> it's like a Malaysian flavor to it. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. It looks Let me get good. another bite of it. Go. My ice cream hot dog is gone. What was that? Root beer tastes so weird to me now. Really? Very sad. Is it a gross flavor? It's just weird. Oh my gosh. So much is falling out. That is a messy fracking dog. Come on, Coney, what are you doing? Coney likes it messy. That's how he invented it. Cool. That is tasty. Very tasty. I'm gonna get a quick bite of this. Waffle pop. Guys, sad thing, they made an entire waffle and he's the only one that ordered it and then they cut one. Oh my gosh, that's chocolatey. That looks like it's just a piece of chocolate. Oh, the thing was in the middle. Ow. <laughs> I'm just gonna have you guess what you think this tastes like. Chocolate? It tastes like vanilla, I'm just kidding. Yes, it's straight Jocko. It doesn't look like there's even a waffle inside of that thing. The waffle is really soft. Oh, that's always good. 
and wild, but it's good. It don't make me thirsty as none. <laughs> hey, you have some delicious tasting root beer. Oh my god. Jeebers, he coated that fire. The picture made it look like they just dipped the tip. Thank you, Mr. Guy. Back there. He dipped the whole fracking thing. Getting my value. Definitely. That was less than a dollar. Dang. And then this was two or three, I think. So that's Pretty. the start of our A. Uh, the A and W is the start of our fast food all here. And A and W is an interesting one to start it with, but it's so unique to like Malaysia. I feel like they're not going to have this in many other places in Asia. I wouldn't have expected it to be here. So. It, it's like Hardee's, where we didn't expect it to be randomly in like Dubai and the Middle East. We're like, oh, okay. We barely have those where we're from. Yeah, we we got a comment one time like, oh, why don't you guys expect this restaurant to be here? A lot of times we say that because where we live, like an A&W, the closest A&W is like 35, 40 minutes away. Yeah. So we're from the United States. Where these chains are from. Well, yeah, where all these chains are, were founded and are from. And we don't have them in our state, but then we go to these countries across the world and they have A&W and Hardee's and Popeye's and stuff like that. And we like, we don't even barely have any in our state. So it's very interesting. And very unique to us to try those things that time. Definitely is. So, uh, next fast food restaurant? I think I've seen a little burger over there. BK! Alright. AW down. Next mall. Time. The Mid Valley Mega Mall. <laughs> and there's only one thing we can do now. <laughs> Burger King, baby. Their menu looks very interesting. The Burger King went all out here in the Philippines. It's like, eh, four cheese Whopper, that's all you're gonna do? And the four cheese Whopper sucked. Yeah, it wasn't as good as it should be, unfortunately. It sounded amazing when and we were looking at it. And it didn't have like any flavor, surprisingly. No. We didn't make a video on it because chilies? chilies? Oh. Are you kidding me? I'm not used to walking on the left side yet. But look at some of these. They have rending burgers. Unfortunately. Rending oh. tender fruit. Oh. Good, we have a menu thing. I was a little scared. All right, let's try this. A rending stuff is limited time. Really? So there's a rending, what is this, a grilled chicken? Yep. Rending grilled chicken, rending double cheeseburger, or a rending tender crisp. When I mean, you'd think the chicken would be good, and the burger would be decent. There's no cheese on the burger, which would be a little interesting. Yeah, what the? Is the rending supposed to be the cheese? Maybe. It looks like it has rending, beef, and onion. What's under the premium section? Wow. What the crap? Super salmon? What the heck? Supreme nachos? What the heck? Okay, there's some crazy ones here. Well, we're both gonna have to get some sort of crazy burger. Oh, a Whopper with cheese. And a long, cheesy onion beef. <laughs> All right, Burger King is killing it here. This is very epic. French chicken, the long chicken, was not very good in the Philippines. They have some fried chicken. Wow. Fish and crisp, that is epic. For only nine. What the heck? That's two bucks. Burger, fries, ice cream, and oh, and a drink. That's two bucks. Malaysia? I'm scared now. I'm scared these might not be good. Malaysia is so cheap. Oh. Okay. Nacho cheese, nuggets, cheesy loaded fries. Banana pie. Okay, we have a lot to fry I can get. Dang, Navis. A salad? Grape Fanta, hot tea tart, ice mocha. We haven't had any Milo yet, that's literally from here. We have to get a Rendang burger, of course. Burger King in Malaysia has some interesting selections. <laughs> we got interesting stuff already, but a lot of the pictures look much better. I mean like your white onion rings? And my trifler fries that are... They just kind of look burnt? Yeah. Or it's juice first. This looks very... Pop-like orange juice. It's very similar to the oily stuff in the uh, They don't do actual orange juice here. I swear it said Minute Maid on it, but it's definitely not hot. Unless the Minute Maid just tastes like that here too. It might. Very sweet. Wow. Now I got the nacho, crispy nacho burger thing. Crispy nacho burger. Oh, let's take a peek at this for Oh, he's interesting. Is it chicken or beef? I don't know. It's a nacho on the thing. <laughs> it looks like chicken though. Okay. Did we get a Burger King and neither of us got beef? Okay. What is this, 
red sauce. The red sauce on there is really strong. That's what I taste the most. Huh. It's got like a slight spice, so maybe it's like the chili sauce. Maybe it is. And then, oh. I was like chewed more, then I got like the fried chicken in there, and it's actually really good. Really? I was scared that this might not be that great based off the onion ring presentation. Onion rings. But this is actually really good. This is really good. I'm really excited for you to try these epic color fries. They were called tri-color fries. Oh. I only see two colors and they're purple. They look like sweet potato fries. Yeah, is this going to be like a, a purple one? Is it literally going to be a sweet potato fry? Only one way to find it now. What the heck? It's literally purple on the inside? Wait, let me focus. It's literally purple on the inside. What does it taste like? Is it it's kind of like a sweet potato. It might be like ube or... I don't know, ube and taro are the same thing. Sometimes in the Philippines they call things taro that are purple. Okay, so it might be. If it is, then this is literally taro slash ube then. Interesting. Alright, what's the orange one taste like? It's a dry. Is there like... Are, is that supposed to be orange and that's like a yellow one? Those are normal crunchy fries, I think. Okay. They crunch like them, but they, are, they taste kind of sweet actually. They might be sweet potatoes still, uh -huh. but they just crunch like a normal fry. Okay. Is there any other colors in the rainbow? They don't look like that. You got bicolor fries and a white onion ring, also floppy. Oh, well, there's no crunch whatsoever. Not at all. Taste is all right. They look super crunchy on the picture. They look so good on the picture. Advertising. I, the the picture made it look like a nine out of ten. Those are probably a six. Okay. It's okay. all right. Okay. So I got some more stuff. I'm gonna start with the Milo, which we tried in our Indonesian snack taste test on Trivia Geo, but it was really bad. It tasted like a protein drink without any protein. Yeah. And I feel like that's not how actually how it is. It seemed like it was supposed to be better. It just did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Malaysian. So we have yeah, to I believe it. it was Malaysian. Like choco milk now? No. It tastes like a protein drink without protein. I wonder if we would like those if we hadn't had protein drinks before. I don't like protein drinks because then you, you gotta force them down and you're like, oh. And that just tastes like one. I remember it tastes like one without protein in it. It literally had no protein in it. It's like watery choco milk with a little bit of a weird aftertaste. But I got loaded fries, loaded cheesy fries. Look at those. Wow, and some bacon. That looks oh. very crispy. Those fries do not look very crispy, though. No, they don't. The bacon looks like it has been freeze dried. Okay. How are those tasting? I mean, they're decent. The cheese is a little interesting. It's not like the normal nacho cheese you expect. Mm. It's kind of a little bit of a spicy cheese. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. I think it tastes pretty good. The fries aren't like super crunchy, but they're not super soggy either. They look super soggy, so that's surprising that they're not. Which, with loaded fries, they all get soggy yeah. really quick. Yeah. I'm just gonna move straight over to this. They had chicken nuggets with cheese dip. They also had this in the Philippines. Right, look at these nuggets, these look so the, weird. Those are literally, they're like golden on here, on the camera. How golden is that cheese? They actually kind of blend in. Oh, beautiful. They actually kind of blend in in real life. Oh yeah, true. This way you can barely even see it. Okay. I mean, it's pretty chickeny. It like, tastes like straight up like really strong chicken flavor. Okay. And the cheese is the same cheese as that. A little processed spicy cheese taste. It's not bad. And now the main event. So that was Limited time burger. A rende burger. Look at all that rende and oh. some onions, why not? I got the chicken. I felt like just chicken would go better with a rende instead of beef. But maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. But this is what I got because it, the chicken here looks like it's pretty decent. The chicken in the one I had was pretty solid. It's pretty big. Yeah, look at that chicken. Oh. That's a nice white meat. Oh, it's a bit spicy. Sorry, this is so messy. Oh my gosh, this thing is super messy. Yeah, mine was getting messy too. Everything, when I picked it up, just fell off. 
It's a bit spicy. The chicken here is really, really good. Like, really good. Like, surprisingly good. I wonder if their fried chicken would have been then, if we just got, like, the straight-up fried chicken. <laughs> it's much better than the chicken at Burger King in the Philippines. Which is surprising, because you think it would be, like, the same distributor, but no, they... And they're playing in hyphen. <laughs> uh -huh. You'd think Burger King would go to Asia and kind of use all the same distributors in Southeast Asia, like it's just the region. Yeah. But they're mixing it up. That's very yummy. I've only had rendang once, and it was mixed with nasi gori. And people said that that's not how it's supposed to be, too. Even though it tasted good, so why wouldn't you do it? it yeah, why not? Good? Why not? But that's really good. I really like the taste of the rendang. It's kind of like a nice, spicy curry taste. Mix it with the I can smell it. Chicken. It smells pretty good. It's very good. Very good. It's pretty solid. Everything tastes good. Despite the like presentation of some of these. Look at that right there. That looks... It tastes good. And this, the burgers seem to be the impressive part. Like yeah, the burgers were good. definitely the best part. I mean... Burgers. They are Burger King. We didn't get any beef burgers. True. Chick fil A of Malaysia? The Chick fil A of Malaysia? It's Burger King? Let's eat and then eat our pies. It's pie time. Taro pie. The heck? Hold on. It's like empty. It's a lighter purple color, too. What is it? Does it taste like ube? Does it taste like taro? Oh. That's unique. Give it that. It's got like a slight, it's kind of like ube in the sense that it doesn't have like an extreme flavor. I feel like ube yeah. tastes different depending on what form it's in. So they have taro and ube in the Philippines. I thought maybe they were just different words for the same thing. Like randomly, like some words will be called something else and be like, oh, that's just that. Like dynamite and chili sticks. I probably prefer like an apple pie or like a mango or something like that. But this one's still not bad. What about a banana? We'll see. I mean, realistically, this should be just be like a fried banana, right? Yeah. Or is it gonna be like a banana laffy taffy inside of this thing? Which that, I do like. That wouldn't be that. It would be a, a bit strong, but it would taste pretty good. Oh, it's a little cold. Oh, it's a white. That's weird. It's not like the Jollibee slash McDonald's one. It's definitely not a banana, it's like a banana paste. It's very banana-y though. Okay. It's good. It's good. I wish it was just like a straight up real banana. It's definitely some sort of like concoction of mashed bananas into some sort of sauce. But it's still pretty good. I love banana. It's very epic burger candy. And now we move over to the final, the uh, final place of the fast food hall, McDonald's. Mega We haven't seen it yet, but we're just assuming it's in there it's somewhere. It's gotta be everywhere. Oh, the fact there's KFC. Too. Oh, we might die. All right, into the Mega Mall. I'm gonna be honest. After two fast food restaurants in a row, um, the stomachs are feeling it. Feeling great. But this is the fast food hall. We never stop until it's fully complete. And I mean, it's fast food. We gotta go as fast as possible. We gotta go fast. Even if we absolutely duke her in the street somewhere. It might happen. I might have to just squat. Over like a drainage pipe or something, or a drainage thing. Let's do it. Why not? Let's see where McDonald's is. And let's check out this mall. Well, how tall is this one? Only three stories? Weak. Weak. Oh. Look at that, that's pretty epic though. Very epic. Are they anticipating building more floors or something? I don't know, there's a Nike up there, wow. Guys, this is not quite as mega as the Times Square mall though. It's claimed it's a mega mall, but it's not even that mega. It wasn't as tall. The other one was so tall. And it had a roller coaster. Yeah, what the frag is this? This is not Mega Mall. The Mega Lame Mall? Oh. <laughs> oh, she's in four. Oh, yeah. That movie was terrible. The fourth one was terrible. It was really terrible. Number three? 
Oh, what's up? Marvel might be going downhill. Is this the end of Marvel? Whoa! Let's call that the title of this video. <laughs> yeah, it totally relates. Toe my? Toe me? Toe me? Toe my? Tony? Toe me? Tony the tiger? May? <laughs> May? What does May for I can say? Hey, chill out. <laughs> yeah. The mall got different. It's like, like a skyway almost, but it's just a mall. The heck? Yeah, it looks like we're outside. Where the heck are we right now? Mr. DIY Plus. Oh my gosh. We've made it. That's a much bigger version than Centris. Food hall. Oh, they got it all in there. Why didn't it say McDonald's? Oh, look at astronauts. Is that I, a child astronaut? I don't know if uh, I'm that informed on astronauts, but but I feel like there's an age limit for astronauts. I would think so. Uh, please take your picture next to the astronauts. Wow, very nice astronaut picture, sir. Oh wow, look at this epic place, very retro. They got a lot of snackers. Stuffed, Mexican, Turkish, delicious. That's an odd combo. Yeah. Celebrity fitness, can we go there if we're not celebrities? Ah, uh, yes we can. Oh. You work out like a celebrity there. Oh, I see. Walk in to start? It's free? Oh, wow. They're doing some Zumba in there. Oh, frick. I love Zumba. Pets Wonderland? Are there actual pets in here? Or just things for pets? Pages. Oh, there's birds. Why did we go to the bird park when we could just come here? Yeah, we could have just bought a bird for 588 That's pretty sick. Gerbil things. What are they called? Oh, look how cute those are. They're in a cat Is that box. Is one? Yeah. Very adorable. Oh, wow, they're all cuddling in back there. Cute. The most pointless pets ever. <laughs> they just uh, sit in the cage. <laughs> are there dogs upstairs? I like dogs. I like dogs and cats more than hamsters and birds. <laughs> Hamsters, uh, even if you like them, like hold them, then they just jump out and run. And then they get into your vents. And then you'll never see them again. Correct. Two cats. Three cats. There's a cat in there too. This is like a cat zoo. That cat looks like a leopard. It does look like a leopard. They're kind of cool. Hello, leopard cat. How are you, sir? Hello, sir. Should we buy him? Yeah. Don't let him on plane, right? Yes, definitely. We could buy him and a bunch of fruits and vegetables and bring them across the <laughs> international border. Oh, he looks so sleepy. Oh, he's he falls asleep. asleep. Good night, Leopard Good Man. Night. We could name him Leopard. Leopard Man? Yes, just like Duck's name is Duck. We had to call him for food and be like, Leopard Man. That would be such a good name. Well, we're at a pet store. Very okay. All right, fast food haul continues. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. This mall got pretty sick up here. Maybe yeah. it is mega. <laughs> the first two floors, not that mega. Third floor, mega. There was a pet store in here. We saw amazing things. Very oh. epic. I like this brand name. Peoples. Peoples. Those uh, peoples. That's what I say all the time. Peoples. Dang peoples. Well, guys, we have. Oh, look at the things that they have here. A and W. We have to get the non-express version. Oh, true, true. Uh, Pizza Hut. Bean Factory. Bean Jam. Dragon uh -huh. Fly. And uh, Starbucks. Uh -huh. okay. All right, let's go. Oh, crap. What do they even have on the menu here? Okay, nothing different at Carl's Jr. McDonald's. They got a big thing over here. Mm -hmm. They Make better be given some big food here. McDonald's all owns this entire corner. Oh, A&W's got a cool thing too. Oh. And they got a bear. And they have a little LED sign thing. Said a waffle, matzo, curly fries. And that's it. Waffles, matzos, and curly that's fries. That's not much food. I don't want to go there anymore. The frack? Oh gosh, McDonald's, please. Please. Oh, oh this is pretty epic. Oh, look at that. 
We might just have to instantly grab home uh, after this because so we'll we have to do ourselves. Holy crap, I literally feel like I might have to duke after this. I don't feel great. These kind of look good. Those do look really good. That might be on the agenda because that's new. It's time for some more exclusive items. This time at McDonald's. Yeah, we didn't get any burgers or anything. So that just doesn't sound good anymore. Plus, there wasn't anything too special. There was one spicy burger, but it was just spicy tomato sauce, which is probably basically just spicy ketchup. So we got some Nazi Lamont. McD. McD. What does this look like? What is that? A, some sort of fish? And some sort of sauce? And an egg? Yeah. And chicken? Oh, it just says S porridge for this. It's a porridge. A porridge, okay. I don't remember what it was called. Fries, to see if the fries, and most importantly, corn. This is my dream to eat some corn. Uh, we didn't get our drinks. They didn't take the thing yet, so. Our drinks are still coming. Hopefully. That's what I want the most. I'm thirsty. Even though uh, Icy's probably aren't going to quench no, the thirst very really well. No, have gotten anything that I've quenched the thirst yet. <laughs> Alright, I think most importantly, you should probably start with this epic porridge. Oh, okay. Or the fry. Well, let's try the fry. Are they the same as the US? This should be the staple in every McDonald's. Yum. Yeah. And now, the epic porridge. Porridge at McDonald's? Why? Who knows? Oh wow, that looks very strange. Never had porridge before. The oh, frack? Is that just rice? Must just be rice. I wonder if it's gonna be fishy. Not that much flavor. Really? It's very bland actually. Interesting. Like very. It just ends up tasting like wet rice <laughs> with some sort of light maybe spices in there. I thought you were gonna say saliva. Saliva? There's a good chance McDonald's just did this whatever this porridge normally is called dirty. But yeah that was meh. I mean I literally said if you think if you're coming to McDonald's you probably get like a burger or something since you could probably get the better version of this and this from any local restaurant. It seemed like a lot of the people here did get it. These people got, next to us got, no, though, not this either. thing, but. I don't know why you, you think you could just get it at a restaurant. That'd be way better. Does that look, is that spicy? You should probably drink it. All right, some of this rice egg combo. Okay. Oh, you just can't hold some, some rice. rice. All right, rice and egg combo. Rice and egg combo. Okay. A sauce. It's spicy. Okay. Tastes pretty good though. The egg. Tastes like an egg. It's good. An egg tart? No, on, sadly not an egg tart. Oh, here comes our drinks. Sorry, I give you another Thank you. Thank you. Going, going, going. All right, I guess that's really spicy. Actually. Really spicy? Uh, not super cool. spicy, cool. but I didn't put that much sauce on. Is it like the Dubai Global Village place? No. Instant heat? No. It's like you put a blowtorch in your mouth? I think there's like a flake that kind of slid all over my tongue. Ah. <laughs> it's not like uh, Halloween yesterday where he blowtorched that guy's face. <laughs> Spoiler! I'm sure so many people are going to love to watch ah. that movie. Try your lychee. Lychee berry smoothie thing. That's tasty. Oh, um, I didn't get to try the corn, sir. <laughs> oh, right. Don't worry. There's a little corn hole. Did the corn hole work? Yep. That's how you make it last. It'll last for an hour if you eat it two at a time out of the corn hole. Hold on. It tastes like canned corn. <laughs> can <laughs> really? <laughs> I prefer fresh corn over can. I would agree on that. Some people like the can. Not me. Alright. We're just gonna try some of this. 
which had raving reviews from Isaac. Oh yeah, I mean, possibly the most flavorful thing I've had in my entire life. Thank you. Yeah, that's where we are. <laughs> vlogging, vlogging. And then Bigfoot comes out of the woods. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we basically do that now. That's a reference to an old video we made when we were very young. What the heck? That's me. Whoa! Christ. You lied. You totally lied. This is the most flavorful thing I've ever tasted in my life. Let me just slurp it down. Wow. The texture is kind of satisfying. Yeah, it's a nice texture. It's like a mushy, chunky soup. And it's just kind of, you can melt, you can like smash it with your tongue. Very delicious. Okay. Not that delicious with wine. Um, give me an egg and give me some rice. Oh yeah, I hit you in the back by the tongue. Spice. I, I still feel a little bit. It's a bit spicy. I only used like a, a third of that max. So it could make it much more spicy. It tastes good. It does taste good. It's a good flavor. It's like a good like chili sauce flavor. I don't know what type of sauce that is, but it's hot. And then you dip a fry in this sauce. And what will it taste like? Something. Best new invention, chili fry. Wow, incredible. This is mango something. What was the other? Do you remember if there's no, a No, um, Ice blended mango. Oh, okay, just mango. Tastes very mango-y. It's good, and yellow. Anything that's yellow is delicious. Now finally, the spicy chicken. Should I be afraid based on that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Ooh, it's hot. Very dark meat. Oh, it looks pretty juicy. It's shimmering in the goat and the light. Oh, it's juicy. My first actual bite of meat I got. Spicy? It's not too bad, it's not like chalabi. Okay. But it's really juicy, look at that. It's just shimmering. Wait, I need to get a cinematic shot. That was cinematic. Thank you very much. And that's pretty much all the new things we... It's a little spicy. A little spicy. Pretty much all the new things we could get here at Shack. Without destroying our stomach. Yeah, we could have got some of the different burgers, like a spicy beef burger and stuff like that, but we didn't. We just got kind of the really unique stuff, not the slightly different stuff. So, pretty cool. And that's the fast food haul for today. It's quite the haul. Quite the haul. We only did four places. So, hopefully you enjoyed. And more food will come soon. Ooh. Time to throw up.